Good morning. It is Sunday, April 18th, 2021. With it being a Sunday, we change up our daily reading just a little bit. It is actually the third Sunday of Easter, and so we read what would be all the four scriptures if we were in person worship. So we have our first reading, we then have our psalm reading, we have our second reading, and then we have our gospel reading. So let us take a look and listen in to our readings for today. Our first reading today comes from Acts chapter 3, verses 12 through 19. When Peter saw it, he addressed the people, You Israelites, why do you wonder at this? Or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we have made him walk? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and rejected in the presence of Pilate, though he had decided to release him. But you rejected the holy and righteous one, and asked us to have a murderer given to you? And you killed the author of life, who God raised from the dead. To this we are the witnesses, and by faith in his name. His name itself has made the man strong, whom you see and know. And the faith that has through Jesus had been given the perfect health in the presence of all of you. And now, friends, I know that you acted in ignorance, but did also your rulers. And the way that God fulfilled what he foretold through all of the prophets, that this Messiah who would suffer, repent, therefore, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. The psalm reading comes from Psalm chapter 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my right. You gave me room when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. How long, you people, shall my honor suffer shame? How long will you love vain words? and seek after lies. But know that the Lord has set apart the faithful for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. When you are disturbed, do not sin. Ponder it on your bed and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Oh, that we might see some good. Let the light of your face shine on us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when the grain and the wine abound. I will both lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. The second reading today comes from the book of First John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 7. See what the love of the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed, and what we do know is this. When He is revealed, we will be like Him. For we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he has revealed to take away sin. And in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. And no one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Our gospel reading today comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 36 through 48. Hear these words. 
while they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your heart? Look at my hands, my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? They give him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it, and he ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance and forgiveness of sin is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You, you are the witnesses of these things. And here ends our readings for the day.